What's up YouTube, it's your boy Zioxus and today we're going to be talking about Teams for Training Cave. Now, I don't think anybody has really talked about their specific teams um, that they use in Training Cave because obviously maybe not everybody's going to have these characters, right? But this is just my teams, like the teams I use. These are not main teams. Well, they kind of are, but you know, these are just the teams I use and I find very helpful. So. Um, I got all the bosses. I don't know none of their names. So if you get this boss in training cave if for you are gear and stuff like that And you have these characters you could use them, right? So if you guys don't know, I think you need around 42 to 48 characters like 66 stars minimum just to beat training cave because it's all ungeared anyway So it doesn't matter if you have gear on them or not, but um Most of them are kind of difficult and some of them are very easy. So uh, I'm just gonna go over the ones I know so in the first team here we have this tongue looking monster right the team i use for this most of the time is dairy aries eldris and red merlin you don't have to have jerko in the back i just always put her in the back for more damage but uh again for all these teams you do not need to have these specific characters in the back i just put them there because right so uh, we have dairy airy and zeldris doing the dps right um, and then Zeldris can also remove ultimate gauge and then Merlin can freeze. Yes, this monster or boss for training cave is able to be frozen. So you got Merlin there. If you do not have Merlin and you have the new red Jericho, she's also a good option and stuff like that. But Derriere is going to be your main nuke. You're going to want to get her ultimate. You don't even like you can even rush her. Oh, you don't need to get that much buffs. So he will die. That's it. Like just get one or two buffs from Derriere with Jericho in the back and then Zeldris is passive also buffing up Derriere you are going to be able to just kill this monster easily. The second team we have is this ghost looking monster. Um, I'm not sure again what the name is, but I use the casual mono red team. You don't even need to have Hauser in the back. I just put him in there for basic stats, basically. Um, but mono red can easily get this done. He doesn't do anything insanely special where you need to have like a specific character, but mono red can definitely get this monster this skull looking mo monster out of the way for sure so yeah mono red for this team uh i guess i would have to uh space this one out all right for this team we actually have slater gloxinia and sario again with jericho in the back you don't need to have jericho i just put her in there but all you really need here is slater that's it because Slater has a card that lasts for two turns on a rank one where this boss is not allowed to use any skills at all until she gets her ultimate and Basically when she uses her ultimate, you don't a lot of people are not gonna have Gloxinia. I don't even have Gloxinia um, Right because usually the time I put LV there But I want to put Sario because I know a lot of people actually do have Sario which is weird because his banner was a skip but um You I only have Gloxinia there because when you ult you just cleanse it away basically um, you can also bring Zeldris here instead of the other one just to like move cards and cleanse. Uh, but Slater is all you really need for this and a DPS. That's red basically. And that's where Sario comes into play. So and there is that. Now we have our boy Helbrum. Now Helbrum, I use Tank Dian, or not Tank Dian, Blue Matrona Dian, Galen and Mai with Blue Jericho in the back. Uh, Mai is where my DPS is. Galland is there because he actually taunts the Helbrum. So the Helbrum only like taunts him basically and only attacks him until he's dead. And then we have the blue Matrona Dian doing damage, like the rupture damage because he puts up a buff. So this team does, I find this team to be very helpful. Um, especially since, since Mai, if she merges the card, she gets a rank up. She like just does a lot of damage when she, you know, because of her passive and stuff like that. So I do find this specific team for Helbrum to be very easy and fast to clear. Now we have this looking monster. I don't know, the giant. Now this team is a team where not a lot of you guys are going to be able to use. And this is where I use Goddess List, Tarmio, Blue, Bond, and then again, whoever in the back, I just put Jericho there because again, she buffs up blue units. So this is an option. Now this team is probably the only team on the list where, or the main team out of all the teams, you're going to have to change up a bit only because I know a lot of you guys do not have Tarmio or Goddess Liz. Blue Bond is a free unit, right? He's going to be free in a couple of days. So there's no excuse for that. But 
the goddess liz actually everybody has goddess liz tarmil is your main issue i only have tarmil there for damage reduction and uh i'm not sure if i can remove ultimate gauge on this boss i don't think you can but i have him there for damage reduction because this boss does kind of hit hard with regular cards so you just have damage reduction plus the shield and then you like get you use bonds alt and then extort and then brrr, like you just kill basically so that's what this team is for but if you don't have tarmiel you could try putting hmm i don't know who you could put but you could probably make it work you don't really need tarmiel but you can make it work now this team right here this team again there's nobody in the back because you don't need anybody in the back but i do recommend putting any random character in the back just because this boss cannot be stunned or frozen but can be petrified and with triple petrify you have so much you have a three out of six chance right so it's 50 50 you have a 50 percent chance of getting um petrifies every turn basically because how it works is there's two cards on each unit and all together that makes six and all of them have one petrified card so how i see it working is boom um but what you want to do for this specific boss is get him low very very low with petrifies only so always like attack attack uh, like use your attack and then petrify at the end of the turn um and get him very low because if you ultimate you don't kill he actually heals 50 percent hb hp back so you want to make sure when you're ulting you're going to guarantee kill him if you know you're not just keep petrifying him until he's very low and stuff like that my king is five out of six so he just kills him whenever but if you don't have that five out of six king or six six king then your job is just to petrify with three of these units right um every turn basically you don't have to petrify like king you don't have to use king draw and Hend and Helbram like petrifies at one turn but they just start trying to save and rack up some petrifies for every turn basically that's how this one works now for hendrickson i use your casual esterosa bond droll droll is just there for damage and so is esterosa bond is mainly there just to do the extort because esterosa is gonna taunt and then he's gonna just go after esterosa and because of the taunt and immunity his ultimate weak point won't work but he will still have the extort from bond so that's how i kind of counter this hendrickson in training cave to just stop him from doing insane damage and stuff like that but uh yeah i find this team to work a lot so um any alternative teams i would say green green uh counter meliotis right you can use him as well even though you don't have the immunity he could still work well with the extort and stuff like that um uh yeah if there's another character that extorts, you can replace that character with Bond, but this is a team that I find very helpful. Uh, we have this team, right? We have this team right here. The Just a regular, this is just DPS, right? You got King, Roxy, Valenti. Valenti is really just, I don't, you don't need to use Valenti, but Valenti is just there. Even though it's ungeared, her passive still kind of like works, I guess. So Valenti is just there to reduce damage, but you're mainly going to be doing damage with Roxy and King. Now, if you don't have Roxy, find any other green DPS. Green Eskinor is right there. Um, and then you have Green King to just boom. And Or you can even use Hawk. I should have probably put Hawk there. I do use Hawk for this one, actually. Um, I just switched out Hawk for Roxy, but Green Hawk will be perfect for this because Green Hawk does do a lot of damage. And Green Hawk is free now, so there you go. Um, yeah, so you can replace Roxy with Green Hawk if you do not have this Green Roxy. Valenti, you replace with anybody, honestly. You're just going to need King and Hawk or Roxy if you have them. That's at least for me. I don't have no problems with beating this with this team. And then our final team, I have Demon Meliodas, Tank Deanne, and then Escanor. Basically, how it works is I always taunt with Demon, or not Demon Meliodas, Tank Deanne. I always taunt with Tank Deanne, and then I always seal his ultimate move gauge with demon meliotis and then do dps with demon meliotis and escanor but mainly escanor and then you get escanor's ultimate and nuke him that's legit what you do um you don't want this dragon to alt he won't do like crazy numbers with tank Dian, um because i'm pretty sure his ultimate is only single target while the other one is aoe um when you're farming books it's aoe with this one is single target i'm pretty sure i might be like wrong but it, I, i'm pretty sure um so yeah, I have Tank Deanne there to take damage, and because of her defense-related stats, she's not going to die. You got Meliodas to stop him from getting his ultimate, and then you got Escanor to do the damage. So these are all the teams that I use, and that many other uses to beat Training Cave all the way. Now, um, another thing is, 
the units I didn't put here are like LV and stuff like that. Those units are what you're going to use for PvP, right? So who did I not bring here? I didn't bring... I didn't put LV. I didn't put... Um, uh, like Blue Giant Deanne. You can use rush her all to use her. I didn't put like... Um, who else did I not put that's so very good green Gulther, you're gonna use him in PvP like the PvP where if you don't know how training cave works you should know by now but when you beat three bosses you fight like a character a team you use to fight the bosses basically so that's what I'm talking about right yeah use Gulther. basically these top tier units that are not on this are what you are gonna use for PvP so um hopefully this video was helpful for a lot of you guys who want to be training cave and not able to right if you do not have these characters, um, there's a lot of alternatives. All you have to do is go to Grand Cross Database. I'll have the link in the description. And then you go to, uh, let me make sure you all can see this. Yep, you can. You go to Character, go all the way to Skill Filter, and then find the skill down here or anything here that a character does. So let's say you're looking for a character like uh, Red Slater, right? You've, no, everybody has Red Slater. Esterosa, for example, you don't have Esterosa. Look for someone who can taunt, and then it will give you a, a list of them, right? Any of these characters can taunt. If you're looking for like a counter, you would go to counter. These characters are here. Basically, you want to go again characters, skill filters, link in the description for this website, Grand Cross Database, and you'll be able to find whatever character you need to be training caves again. I'm Zioxus. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, make sure you guys hit the like button. And if you're new here and you want more of this content, make sure you guys subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys need. And I'll be do my best to upload that video for you guys. I'm out. Later. Peace.